In Creo Parametric, the shadow analysis allows you to determine the shadow cast on surfaces by other surfaces or models. Let's take a look at how to use this. To access the command, you will go to the Analysis tab and then the Inspect Geometry Overflow menu. Here we have the Shadow command. It opens up the Shadow Analysis dialog box and the first thing that you're going to select is the surfaces that you're interested in in which the shadows will be cast. So for example, here I have a satellite assembly. I'm concerned about the antenna casting shadows on the dish. So I'm going to select the surface of the dish for what will have the shadows on it. Then I can select the model or surfaces that are going to cast the shadow. I'm gonna select the antenna assembly out of the model tree. And the third thing to determine your shadows is the direction that they will be cast and if I go to the filter in the lower right hand corner of the screen you can see that you have a number of different entities that you can select to determine the direction such as surfaces axes edges curves and coordinate system axes let's select a datum axis I've created a few assembly level datums for this and I'll pick it and now you can see the shadow that gets cast on the surface, if we take a look in the dialog box, we're given numerical information about the shadows area in our model system of units and also the percentage, the ratio of the surface that ends up being covered. And you can increase the quality if you want to in order to get better results. And you can see that the shape of the shadow is actually being adjusted as we increase this in here. You can also take this analysis and make it a saved analysis. And the saved analysis allows you to have what's called persistent display. In other words, you will see the results of the calculation on the screen as you are designing and you will be able to change the model and see how it updates the results of the analysis. You can access your saved analyses command from the saved analyses command in the ribbon. So that is good for the first situation. Uh, let's take a look at another example. Maybe I'm interested in, depending on different orientations, the coverage on the solar panels. So I'm gonna right click in the surface collector and choose remove. I'm gonna pick these three solar panel surfaces over here. And then for the model that I'm interested in casting the shadow, I'm going to use the antenna, but I'm also interested in the main body as well. So let's select that. And it's doing some calculations, a lot more to think about. It's still using the same direction collector. That's why you have a value of zero. So let's activate the direction collector. You can also do that from the right mouse button. I'm going to select this axis instead and as it computes, we can see that it has a much bigger coverage area and it's actually covering almost a quarter of the three surfaces that I have selected. So in that way you can use the shadow analysis tool to, to determine the shapes and coverage caused by shadows in your model. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.